Okay, today is Tuesday, November 25th, 2014. This is my cinch lock. Patent's going to issue December 2nd, 2014. Patent number 8899080. And I'm going to show you how to lock a, a jacket, sport coat, ladies dress with sleeves, wedding dress, anything that can be worn that has hoops, loops, or arms, or legs. I'm going to slip it through the right arm of this leather jacket. Take it. You can run it through the loops of a pair of pants. Down the other sleeve. Then you can stick it through the cinch lock. Give it a little bend. And then taking a click safe, which I've secured around the uh, hanger rod, locks it. I'm not going anywhere. Another way to do this, this is not coming out. Uh, remove the click safe. Remove the wire from the cinch lock. Now another way, you can take this cable out for the version with the click safe and then use the Microsoft version, MicroSaver version I have. Do the same thing, but to make it quick, I'll just go through the jacket. Uh, let's make a couple turns around the hanger. Through the other arm. And I'll lock it with the microsaver version through this end. Give it a little bend, push it in, and then I have this microsaver secure to the hanger rod. Put it into the T-slot. And it should lock. Locked on, not coming off. Uh, another application for my cinch lock is on luggage. You can secure it around the handles, run it through the cinch lock, give it a little bend, close it, and then you could use my horizontal padlock which I removed, this being a master version of it using a master lock. Not that master lock has anything to do with it. In fact, it has nothing to do with the lock. And then I can use this to hopefully click on. And then using the lock, lock it. And it's locked on, not coming off. And this can be secured with a cable or to something else, but it's done. That's it.